Listen to this story. He was wrongly convicted, spending 27 years behind bars before he was exonerated. Val Dixon credits golf and art for saving his life. While incarcerated, Dixon was asked to draw 12th hole of the legendary Augusta National Golf Club. He did, and this eventually helped Dixon escape from the harsh reality that is prison. His work was later featured in Golf Digest, which eventually led to Dixon's release. How about that? Now he visits world-renowned golf courses and tournaments, sharing his story. And today, he will be speaking to Jacksonville's youth about designing at successful, uh, designating a successful future at TPC Sawgrass. So joining us this morning, Val Dixon, good to have you. It must be nice to be out, to be traveling the country and telling your story. First of all, let's go into the background. How did you get wrongly convicted? Well, I was out hanging out with friends and the shooting occurred. And, you know, the first instinct is to run and get away, run for cover. Sure. I ran, jumped in my car, pulled off. Shortly thereafter, I was pulled over, taken into custody. You know, I was told that I committed this shooting. And the crazy thing about it was it was over 90 people there, you know, and a lot of my friends were out there and a lot of people that knew me. So I just felt like, okay, this would get cleared up. And mm -hmm. it never did. Mm. And this is up in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, and witnesses came forward. A dozen witnesses came forward to tell the police that I didn't commit the crime. They were disregarded. Uh, the person that committed the crime actually confessed he was disregarded. Mm. Once they arrested me, they just refused to uh, admit that they made a mistake. Mm. Horrible story. So you spent a lot of time in prison behind bars. Yes, 27 years. 27 long years. That yeah. probably feels like an eternity. Well, you know, God was with me the whole time, you know, and I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a really strong faith. But after so many years, you know, he would always send me a sign that everything would be all right, you know. And, it, and, and then I started really taking... Um, a serious interest in my artwork. And I always knew how to draw as a kid, but I started drawing every day and a different feeling just started coming over me. So and that then the golf, you out. Yeah, and then the golf art came, the, the prison warden, because I was known as the artist in the prison. Okay. And then the warden came to me one day and he says, hey, Valentino, could you, you know, draw my favorite golf hole? I've never golfed before. I'm from the inner city. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, whatever. All right, bring it in. I'll draw it for you. He loved it. The other inmates raved about the drawing. Next thing you know, another inmate is saying, hey, you need to draw some more golf courses. Brings me some magazines. Here I am drawing golf courses in prison, and I don't even know what's going on myself. Wow. You know, but I'm just drawing these golf courses. So after about 50 or 60 golf courses, I reached out to the Golf Digest because I read a column uh, by Max Adler that said golf saved my life. And I correlated that with my situation. You know, and golf was saving my life because I was on borrowed time myself. I had about 20 years in, and I didn't know if I was sure. going to make it from one day to the next. And um, But the, drawing the golf courses made me feel good, mm -hmm. you know. So I shared my story with Max, and, you know, it took off from there. And this is one of your pieces. Yeah, it's absolutely just stunning. It's Thanks. really beautiful to see in person. Mm -hmm. Tell me about why you're here in Jacksonville. Well, I'm here because we launched my foundation, The Art of Freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, and I did a speaking last night, and I just want people to know that wouldn't necessarily know anything about prison reform. What we need to do is make the system more uh, fair, just, and equal. Mm. What can we do? What we can do is uh, we can approach Congress. You know, first we need to enlighten the American public about what's going on and why we have uh, two over two million people is incarcerated. Sure. You know. In a population that's only 5% of the world's population, we have 25% of the prisoners worldwide. And we have some of the most harsh, successive sentencing laws in the world. You know, and the only way to change this is to reduce the sentencing laws, which will reduce the prison population. And it will take an act of Congress to do this. Wow. So your message is don't give up, push for reform. Right. Push for Advocate reform. for change. Smart reform. Okay, because a lot of times when you hear prison reform, you're like, what are they talking about? It's just so much that's going on. Right. This is why my fight is for sentencing reform. Okay. For, in, in, in comparison to England, for example, a 10-year sentence here for the same crime is two years in England. 
you know, and it's just too harsh and too excessive, and it violates our Eighth Amendment, Eighth Amendment right to the Constitution against cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. Well, Val, thank you so much for talking with us, yes. for showing your beautiful artwork here, and I know that you've got a bright future ahead of you, mm -hmm. not just in the art right. realm, but also right. with educating our youth. So if you would like to learn more about Val Dixon's artwork and his story, head to ValentinoDixon.com. There's the website on your screen. Don't worry, we will post that link along with this interview on our website, newsforjax.com.